can't tell you any, any very many specifics, but right now we're dealing with a, a company as a prospect that could be one of the largest agribusiness uh, investments in, in quite a number of years. And they said we have three concerns. It's, it's your regulations to do what we need to do, it's your labor, and it's water. Well, uh, this particular area, a lot of the local labor uh, force, they tell me nearly a thousand get on a bus and ride to help pay to work in the service industry. Well, so there is a potential labor supply. And then the regulations, we've worked on those over the years to try to streamline, make South Carolina more business friendly uh, than the water. So again, that's where dollars uh, really have to come to the table to make things uh, happen that support with infrastructure. Uh, so we're, we're, it's just an example of where we all pulled together yesterday on this particular project. I had a, a good discussion with Governor McMaster. He subsequently made some phone calls we asked him to do. I, I tell you that to just say that the team effort around rural South Carolina is probably as strong as I can recall in the, uh, in the years that I've served as commissioner. Uh, we work very closely with commerce. Uh, we have a, a person on staff on there that all he uh, is asked to do is work agriculture and forestry prospects. Um, and now we've had so many that they, they've pulled a second person to help out. So we, we're working with them to we develop the prospects and then to manage it so that South Carolina and the incentive packages that we offer for people who come in and invest dollars and hire people to bring them in. Uh, serve on the Coordinating Council at Commerce, sort of the last stamp on, on the dollars that we invest. And it's almost an unspoken saying that a job in Marion County, a job in Dillon County, is worth three jobs in Greenville County. Uh, nothing against Greenville County, but we just recognize uh, where our challenges are. It is why our counties are labeled Tier 1, 2, 3, 4. You're probably familiar with that. So those label three and four tier counties based on unemployment and, and, and per capita and things of that nature, I get a lot of attention from commerce, from the Department of Agriculture, from everyone uh, where we can find those opportunities. So that's why uh, this particular project I'm referencing has got a lot of people excited.